Judith Spencer, long time no see. Thank you again for taking notes today. I really appreciate that. I don't like meetings where I have to try and do the notes and leave the meeting, so I'm grateful for you. Thank you. Pauline. Got a lot of boats on the river today, so we'll see what kind of uh, background music we get. Kathy Kay! Jenny Fox. Manny Borg. Great to see you, Father Manny. <clears throat> One of these days I will dress as well as you. Holy cow. You are like the snappiest dresser I know. Snappiest liturgical dresser. <laughs> just tuned in to Manny's live worship service. He just led worship up north. Yeah, that man's got it together. So as we get ready to worship, I'm saying this mostly to people who will watch this later on, the recorded version. There are a lot of boats on the river today, and occasionally Facebook's bots review the video, and if, if uh, music is playing from those boats and drifts into the background of this, uh, Facebook will, will just silence uh, 30 or 40 seconds of this video, whatever. Uh, however long that music is in the background. So, if you're listening along and all of a sudden, whoop, there's this weird silence. It's not you, it's Facebook. 
So they don't want any copyright laws infringed. So instead of listening to Sweet Home Alabama while we play, just silence. All right. All right, we are on page 115. Evening prayer, right to y'all. <clears throat> Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. And then we continue on page 116. Dear friends in Christ, here in the presence of Almighty God, let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins so that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, <clears throat> we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. On page 118 is the Thos Hilaron. When you get there, please pray with me. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 136, which begins on page 789. Psalm 136, page 789. When you get there, please read with me. When you get there, you'll see that it's one of those antiphonal psalms, antiphonal, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, it's divided into sections so that uh, people in worship would read one section and then the other side of the congregation would read the other section back and forth. Psalm 136, page 789. Please read with me. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. Who only does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. Who by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, for his mercy endures forever. Who created great lights, for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule the day, for his mercy endures forever the moon and the stars to govern the night, for his mercy endures forever, who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, for his mercy endures forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endures forever, with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm, for his mercy endures forever, who divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endures forever, and made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever. That swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea. For his mercy endures forever. Who led his people through the wilderness. For his mercy endures forever. Who struck down great kings. For his mercy endures forever. And slew mighty kings. For his mercy endures forever. 
Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endures forever. And gave away their lands for an inheritance, for his mercy endures forever. An inheritance for Israel, his servant, for his mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endures forever. And delivered us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever. Who gives food to all creatures, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading is from a book that we don't visit all that often. This is the book of Numbers. It's the fourth book in the Hebrew Scripture, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Most of it is full of the laws that the ancient Jews were given for religious and political purposes, and they don't necessarily apply today. We don't know, or we don't need to know, how to do a proper goat sacrifice anymore. Don't need to know uh, how to handle mold by calling in the priest to look it over, things like that. So we don't spend a lot of time in numbers, but there are these little bits, like what we're going to read today, that kind of give a day-to-day -day view of what life was like in the um, in early Hebrew life together. This is chapter 11, and we're going to read parts of verses 16 through 29. So, the Lord said to Moses, Gather for me seventy of the elders of Israel, whom you know to be elders of the people and officers over them. Bring them to the tent of meeting and have them take their place there with you. I will come down and talk with you there, and I will take some of the spirit that is on you and put it on them, and they shall bear the burden of the people along with you, so that you will not bear it all by yourself. So, Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord, and he gathered seventy elders of the people and placed them all around the tent. And the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him, and took some of the spirit that was on him and put it on the seventy elders. And when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied, but they did not do so again. Two men remained in the camp, one named Eldad and the other named Madad. And the spirit rested on them. They were among those registered, but had not gone out to the tent. And so they prophesied in the camp. The young men ran and told Moses, Eldad and Madad are prophesying in the camp. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the assistant of Moses, one of his chosen men, said, My Lord Moses, stop them. And Moses said to him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit on them. The word of the Lord. So up to that point, Moses had been leading by himself. He'd been leading this nation of people all by himself. And so this is one way that he was encouraged to share some of the responsibility, not be a do-it-all-yourself kind of guy. And so God's spirit was laid on these people, and there was a physical manifestation of that. Pretty amazing stuff. All right. Our canticle for this evening is on page 90. It is canticle 13. As we're talking about praiseworthy things. We'll read the Song of Praise, Canticle 13, on page 90. All right, please read with me a Song of Praise. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. And we continue on page 120 with the Apostles' Creed. When you get there, please join me.
All right, page 120, the Apostles' Creed. Please join me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. <clears throat> Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We continue with suffrages A. Please pray with me. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless, but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. On page 123 is Collect for Saturdays. <clears throat> Please join in praying that with me. O oh God, the source of eternal light, shed forth your unending day upon us who watch for you that our lips may praise you, our lives may bless you, and our worship on the morrow give you glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And on page 833 is the prayer of St. Francis. When you get there, please pray with me. Page 833. Please pray with me. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood is to understand, to be loved is to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. At this time, I invite your thanksgivings and intercessions silently, aloud, or typed into the chat box. Lift up Randy and Alan and Darren, lift up Julie and her family and Derek and his family, 
and lift up all the needs and concerns and the joys as well of this congregation gathered together. Please bless, comfort, and heal. May we rest well tonight and wake up refreshed for your service in the morning. Amen. Page 126 is our final prayer. Page 126, the prayer of St. Chrysostom. When you get there, let us pray together. determined to punch through my metal roof. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. You have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. My friends, let us bless the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Friends, good to see you. Good to see you. Let's see, tomorrow, uh, 9.30, we have worship live at church. Please join us. I would love to have you there. Uh, if you're not able to join us, we have worship uh, also live on Facebook. Father Bill will be leading that, so that'll be lovely as well. And then in the evening, 6.30, back here, Father Bill will have evening prayer. So one way or another, lots of options. You have a restful night, folks, and I'll see you tomorrow.